experiencing team issues, it might not be your team. It might not even be one of the five dysfunctions of a team. I'm Christian Montine. I'm an executive coach, consultant, and the author of The Successful New CEO. If you have team issues, you might simply just be using the wrong kind of team. Let me illustrate. In high school, I played basketball and I ran track and field. Both sports are comprised of teams. Both are legitimate teams, but they operate completely differently. In basketball, you practice together, you run plays together, you win or lose together. Winning requires a heavy dependence on the performance of others. Track and field, technically the team wins or loses together, but a team win is dependent on individual performance and success. All of the practice, all the effort, and even the competition is individual. Even on relays, which I ran, you run alone. The nature of track and field means the team wins when individuals are able to perform highly, but separately. Basketball teams that play like individuals just don't work. If someone hogs the ball, decides to make up their own play, or just checks out, it costs everyone. But track and field teams don't even have the opportunity to directly support the performance of others, especially in competition. Nobody can help you sprint faster. No one else can make it easier to clear that hurdle. In organizations, you might have a need for both kinds of teams. Your executive team, for example, might be a basketball team. Your department heads, however, might be a track team with very different objectives and goals and very little to no reliance on each other. That isn't necessarily wrong. So here's how to make each work. If you have a basketball team, the key jam challenges tend to be that proximity and high interdependence allow for friction and frustration. So to help with that, focus on their relationships, creating alignment, helping cultivate clear communication and trust build. For track and field teams, it's easy to turn into silos or a sense of that's not my job. So cultivate a shared sense of identity and purpose and vision. Organize the culture around values and a unifying vision or goal. Develop the habit of celebrating each other's victories. Additionally, find ways to support each other and avoid competing with each other. Look forward to hearing your comments down below. And if you'd like to learn more about stepping into senior leadership, pick up a copy of my book at thesuccessfulnewceo.com or amazon.com.